हेलो फ्रेंड्स एम आई ऑडिबल हेलो फ्रेंड्स एम आई ऑडिबल ओके फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अशोक केसरानी आई सिक्योर्ड ऑल इंडिया रैंक वन इन नीट पीजी 2019 एंड टुडे हियर आई एम इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्ट्रेटेजी रिगार्डिंग द लास्ट टाइम प्रिपरेशन बिफोर योर अपकमिंग नीट पीजी एग्जामिनेशन Finally, uh, the confusion and the uncertainty about the NEET PG exam date is clear now. So, the exam dates have been released, and exams are going to be on 18th April 2021. I will be very briefly discussing about how you should approach the last three months, last 90 days before your examination. so see i know many people would be in such a phase where they think they think that like i have read many times now uh, i just need to revise many would be in the phase of like just starting or maybe just they are in the middle of your their this first revision or first time reading maybe because of their hectic internship the thing is now you can't think anything you can't think about your past what you did in your past just now you have 3 months if you focus and if you give your best in this 3 months your result will definitely change first and foremost thing i will say to all of you that please have self confidence in yourself please have self self confidence it is very very important to achieve success in any part of your life may it be entrance examination or any other examination so i never think that mai to ye kar nahi sakta i cannot do this i cannot do that please set your goals high do your give your best do your best jitna tum kar sakte ho utna karo and then leave, leave the rest so the thing is you should give your own best and then give your best shot before the examination and on the day of examination without hesitating without taking any stress you should give the exam with full confidence so let's discuss about how to approach the uh, how, how to approach the neat technique uh, pg preparation in the last 3 months what i did when i was in this phase so If you think it, this plus subscription is good for you, you can definitely uh, see the subscribe the plus subscription of An Academy. It also has free live classes, which also you can go for. In a, in iconic subscription, you will be getting um, preferential benefits in addition to academy in academy. So this the this An Academy platform has released these new things. in which good teachers will be taking structured lectures targeting particular examinations so they will be, be mainly like tnd or rather i would say they will be conducting tests they will be asking questions and it is completely free of cost so this is just for your practice or for your upcoming examinations like in pg or even the ne next year examination or any set of this year mid year any set and those who are foreign graduates fm uh, for fmg also tests are available 
so please take benefit of this and so this is for up uh, this is um, this is not free this is basically batch wise they have batch wise they have started and uh, this will be commencing from 18 january that is i would say it has commenced from today only and you can definitely join and they they take advantage of this um, revision batch for your neat pg 2021 you can also if those who are preparing for next year that is next or need whatever it, it will be there for, for uh, from 2022 you can also start the preparation and take advantage of this batches and those who are foreign graduates they can take the advantage of the target batch for fmg all these courses have started from just today that is 18 january and whenever you use or you subscribe for any of the test any of the test series or live class you can use my code dr ashraf so that you can get 10 percent discount now first and foremost please i would advise you to please forget about your past what you did till now the minimum thing that you should do now in your last 90 days approximately three months are left for the upcoming need examination which is going to be on 18th april 2021 so so i will be discussing about how should you approach your last 90 days before your examination try to give your best try to give as much try to do as much hard work as possible see in the last time it's basically to uh, it's the last three months are the time when you basically revise those things which you have read in your last six to eight months or this year many people have got even more approximately 10 months so whatever number of times you have revised till now last 60 to 90 days are very crucial because revision is something as all like the thing is knowledge is volatile things are volatile you need to revise the same thing as much time as possible in this last three months you should not you should not now try, try new things whatever you are doing till now continue with that only with respect to i am telling the notes you need to have a concise and enough i am not telling very shortcut notes concise and enough notes for all 19 subjects and make a rough schedule rough timetable rough schedule for the next 60 days why i am telling 60 days for next 60 days for next 60 days I would advise you to do one time complete revision, complete revision plus of all 19 subjects don't please don't ignore even a single subject give time as per the weightage of the subject i will give you a rough idea about how much time to give like less rest it will, it will be upon you only if you think one of the subject is good you are confident enough you can give less time for that if you think some subject is weak you are, you are not much confident you can give more time but all 19 subjects you should be completing in 60 days plus give as much grant test as possible grant test or i would say the mock test whatever we call it so how will you plan your 60 days
So now whenever you be you would be revising this 19 subject in 60 days. Uh, simultaneously make a list of some volatile topic which are important in which you think that you tend to forget multiple times. You need to revise it more more often. Make a list of such topics from each and every subject while you are doing this revision. So like for first year subject for anatomy this is very rough estimate individual it will be completely upon you based on your strength and weakness i would advise you to give three days okay for physiology for physiology So it's not possible to cover everything in these three days. Obviously, you need to read those concise notes that you are having, which you have made by any method, by live class, one real class, or any online series. Whatever you have done, whatever way you have made your notes, please follow that now. For biochemistry. Three days. Then, for second year, I would advise for pharmacology. It's a bit vast subject, so I would advise you for four days. Patho for four days. micro as you can it's to come upon you but this I have rough estimate for three days then for anything medicine one day is enough okay there are some volatile topics in forensic especially like IPC and other section uh, those you can actually keep uh, keep it for last two days or last month revision because one question is always asked from that topic which is actually volatile but you need to revise this topic as much time as possible then for so like till now it's it's about 21 days okay for third year um, subject ophthal i think Is what I think three days should be more than enough. It like some may think two days are enough for them. They need to give more uh, days for other subjects. So like they can decrease the, the amount of days for ophthal. For ENT also, two to three days are enough. I'm keeping it three days. Okay. PSM is a vast subject. It may require more. So like I'm keeping it as five days. Some you may think you only require four days. That's okay. And if some think you are weak in this subject, you can actually give more days. So till now, it is approximately thirty-two days. Just a minute, okay. For final year subjects, for medicine, I would suggest you five days. If you think you need more, you can add here. You can subtract one day from any other subject based on your level of confidence for a subject. Surgery, I think five days are enough. For pediatrics, I think like yeah, I think three or four days is, should be sufficient. 
three or even like think three or four days should be sufficient. Then for option gyne. Four to five days, I would say four days are enough. Then two days for top police for gyne, that should be sufficient. Because now you cannot do detailed study of each and every subject. You need to just revise the notes that you are having with you. For derma dermatology, I think one day is enough sufficient. You don't need to do do everything now. For radio. I think one day is enough because radio questions are regularly are very integrated. You may get the question from medicine, you may get the question from surgery, you may get the question from pediatrics, you may even got get the question OBGY, even gynae, I mean even ENT or ophthal from the radiology. So it's a very integrated subject. Uh, it's a very integrated subject. You can get question in any of the clinical subjects. The core radiology part or the important radiological part. Uh, I think the notes, revision of notes, you would be able to do in one day. Okay. Then you have psychiatry. Okay. Uh, I would say I think two days or more than you know. It's a bit tricky subject. Don't worry, they don't ask very high fi questions, very difficult questions. So you don't need to worry much about it. But please read whatever notes you have 